One of the world's greatest sailors is here in Key West. Mark Reynolds is a past Rolex Yachtsman of the Year. He's in the National Sailing Hall of Fame. He's a two-time gold medalist, a two-time star world champion. The list goes on and on. We waste a lot of video talking about his accomplishments. Uh, Mark, first of all, I heard at the panel discussion you said you had not been here to Key West in quite some time. When was the last time you sailed here in Key West? It's, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly. It's probably been uh, seven or eight years. Uh, yep. I sailed the Meldris 32, I believe, the last time. Okay. And so it was a little break there. What other classes have you sailed here in Key West? Have you done Melgus 24s or any other yeah, programs? Yeah, a lot in the 24. Uh, when the class first came out, uh, we did the first uh, the first year. And uh, uh, let's see, 1D35, mm -hmm. Far 40 uh, quite a few times. Uh, we had some yeah, big fleets in the Far 40 and, and of course in the Melgis 24, it was, was great. And now you're back this year with Vitesse as a Swan 42. Uh, talk a little bit about how you got hooked up with this program and have you sailed with these guys before? Yeah, I, we did sail together in uh, Charleston Race Week last year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's a, uh, uh, it's a little bit different for me because we are sailing uh, under a rating rule this time. Right. Uh, Unfortunately, we don't have a, a big class, but we do have three other 42s that we can uh, do some boat-to-boat -boat sailing with. And our class seems to be uh, boats are, um, you know, pretty even. I think so. It, it'll be interesting, but it, it will be something a little bit different for me. Uh, we're going to have to do a little. Uh, computing or wait till we get in to find out how uh, we finished. I know we haven't gone racing yet but have you had an idea of how the Swan 42 will compete against some of these other designs like a Care 40, um, a Care 46, there's a wide range of, of boats in this class I think a Sydney 42 or something is there some real real interesting mix. Yeah we did get to tune up with a couple of boats uh, over the last two days mm -hmm. and uh, and actually we're you know pretty even uh, one of the boats that we sailed against uh, we had to give a little bit of time to another one that uh, was the opposite way and, uh, and it was close racing it was more catching the shifts and and the puffs than it was uh, the rating difference what is your guess as to what conditions would favor the swan 42 within this class i think uh, i was talking to some of the guys on the care 40 catapult they want the breeze up uh, but the swan 42 is a fairly heavy boat but i don't know how it performs in the light well, kind of tell me, do you have an idea of what conditions would favor this boat within that class? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out, right? Yeah, I'm going to find out on that one. Yeah, I have no idea. Now, what are you doing these days? I think you said off camera that you still are sailing star boats. You obviously sell star sails for a living. Uh, kind of just give us an update on what Mark Reynolds is up to these days. Well, last summer uh, there was a lot of star sailing in Southern California. We had the World Championships at San Diego at the end of the summer. Uh, we sailed in uh, Newport Harbor, uh, Newport Harbor Yacht Club, uh, Cal Yacht Club in, in L.A. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on, and uh, but I did a few other things. I uh, was fortunate enough to sail in uh, in the A Cats uh, in Barnegat Bay. Those are exciting. Uh, you know, cat boats, and uh, I had a day on a on an East Gal. Uh, went to Nantucket. Uh, I've been going there for the last three years and sailing the IODs. Uh, I have a boat called the PC at home, which is a, a class kind of like a little bit smaller and lighter than a six meter mm -hmm. uh, wooden spars. So I've been sailing that uh, at home. Uh, we've got about 20 of them there in San Diego, so it's it's been a lot of fun. I sail that with my wife and and some friends. So uh, uh, a little bit of uh, you know different stuff. Now, I think people would agree that it's still one of the great accomplishments in our sport is to be a star world champion. Do you still feel that it carries the same weight that it did years ago? And secondly, I'll throw you for a loop, do you think it should be back in the Olympics, that class? Yeah, well, that's that's an easy one for me. It definitely should be in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the, uh, the sailors uh, that, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate to be at the last Olympics as a coach and watching these guys go at each other and, and it really, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that those guys aren't going to be at the next Olympics. So it looks like uh, it's actually a slight chance the star could get back in. Brazil's mm -hmm. pushing pretty hard for that, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a long shot. And it looks like Robert uh, may do just fine. Back Robert Scheidt, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I, would, uh, I would much rather see the star back in, Robert back in the star. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, Ben Ainsley in the star would be great to see that battle uh, uh, that they uh, last fought in 2000 against each other. Uh, so we'll see. But as far as the, the class, uh, the class will go on. Uh, Paul Kayard is uh, in the process of getting a bow right now. He mm -hmm. just uh, won, actually won the midwinners last weekend. 
uh, Lars Grail is a new president of the class, and uh, so that, uh, that's pretty exciting. Well, these are notable names, and that helps the class, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the guys, uh, you know, some of the, the top uh, pros will have to uh, to go on, you know, sail a different, different Olympic class if they can fit in. Most of them can't, so they'll go on to do, you know, America's Cup or other pro sailing, I imagine. Right. Uh, but, you know, they all, you know, if they have the chance, they'll come back and sail the star. And there was a series in, in Nassau, too, uh, the Star Sailors League that uh, did a pro regatta, which was pretty real exciting. You know, yeah. You can watch it online. Uh, I watch every race, and uh, and that uh, they're going to try to continue that and draw in top pros that way. All right. Thank you, Mark Reynolds. We really appreciate your time and enjoy your your week in Key West. You bet. It'll be a great time. All right.